for India Task Force's National Demo Day 3. We're super lucky and super privileged to have you with us. And just like the last two weeks, we got some amazing, amazing inventors, innovators, startups, medical device entrepreneurs, uh, manufacturers, and just everyone coming together to showcase to us how much work is being done, you know, how much we all want to support India together so that India fights Corona, together we will. And, uh, you know, every single time we get the privilege to be able to see any of these presenters, it's just really heartwarming. Uh, so again, for all of our watchers, you might be in the government, you might be in the medical community, you might be our policemen, our servers, you might be every single person who's actually fighting COVID-19 in India today. You might be our manufacturers, you might be anybody who's kind of coming together in any capacity. A lot of you are funders as well on every potential side. VCs, foundations, corporate CSR, personal grant giving, crowdfunding, every single one of you is so important. And even having the privilege to see what um, kind of work is happening um, has just been a great part of the journey. Now, very quickly, I want to introduce one of my mentors, one of the stalwarts behind CITF, without whom this would not have been possible. And I would love for him to you know, uh, send a great uh, motivational message to all of you. Uh, Mr. Sushil Jivrajka is a prominent industrialist with over four decades of experience in telecom, renewable energy, electronics. He's been the chairman of FIKI Western Region for 16 years and for several trade bodies. He's a much sought after mentor to several startups, a philanthropist at heart, guides several NGOs. One of them is Roti Bank, um, which is doing a lot of great work in the Maharashtra region in feeding our servers. He has led several delegations across the globe and um, received senior delegations to India. He's also the chairman of OMC Power and SJ Erickson. Uh, over to you, um, to Sri Lanka. Thank you, Riddhi. Thank you for that introduction. Um, I have been watching with great uh, delight the first two sessions which you so ably conducted and uh, seeing all these uh, young entrepreneurs coming up with uh, brilliant technology solutions is extremely heartening i'm so delighted that i've been involved with this whole initiative right from the beginning and one would have not imagined that it could grow at such a fast pace to the scale and size and that the impact uh, it is uh, bringing already to uh, help in the cause of uh, eliminating COVID-19. Uh, so many war rooms have joined in, so many innovators, technology developers, uh, VCs. Uh, th this is absolutely great. And uh, uh, while we need to work uh, on the existing problems, I think a couple of us need to also start thinking about the second phase where the gradual easing uh, of the restrictions is taking place. This is leading to reverse migration. Millions of uh, stranded uh, workmen are going to go back to their villages, which is going to po pose a challenge of its own. How do you transport these people by keeping social distancing? Um, what kind of job will be uh, given to them once they go back to the villages? Uh, when industry will start opening up as they have started doing, they are going to find an acute shortage of skilled manpower. So how do we do skilling, reskilling, upskilling? These are challenges that are going to be uh, felt as we start opening up and trying to get integrated back into our normal lives in the months to come. Uh, how do we make effective use of drones, robots, and satellites um, in uh, helping our, um, our farmers, also in the containment areas? How do we make use of technology for distribution of food uh, through, um, through the help of uh, technology and not sending these brave server uh, men and women who are risking their lives and uh, getting into direct contact with the needy. So I'm sure I'm looking forward to uh, uh, today's session with equal delight. 
and uh, i wish all of you the very best and uh, i hope that uh, the next unicorns uh, in the area of healthcare and technology come out of uh, this platform and that india shows the world how we can become the healthcare factory to the rest of the world so once again all the best and congratulations thank you so much and actually you know on that note this time before we go to the tracks very quickly i want to share my screen and share a couple other testimonials because you all must be wondering you know this is the third one so might as well share some stuff i um, hope my screen is visible and uh, so very quickly you know um, you know we we haven't had time to make our own slides but this was a very very heartwarming letter uh, and a testimonial which we received from the deputy commissioner of the government of nagaland so for all of you we have our solutions have had coverage over 24 states in india uh, i think even we did not anticipate that that is how much the reach would be and if i might uh, read some of this um you know for those of you who can see it uh, it says mon district happens to be one of the most remote and backward districts in the country sharing a long border with myanmar we have been able to implement cutting edge solutions that use location based intelligence for geofencing and contact tracing this would have this would not have been possible without your tireless efforts and effectively showcasing the best of war room solutions that are currently live across the country we are in the process of implementing more solutions as of this moment governments have been able to bolster their efforts in the fight against this pandemic thanks to your endeavor and uh, this has been so heartwarming we received it today and i wanted to showcase it in fact the company he's speaking about is a company um the ceo is harsher the company is called intigen and them in oblivious to ai from adit and jack uh you know i met harshit as recently as 5 uh, weeks ago and it feels like we're best friends he was part of demo day 1 actually he's been part of our efforts manually much before the demo day 1 started and what he said to me on whatsapp today is um corona has just fast tracked life for us instead of slowing it down can't believe we could all meet and connect with so many people in such a short time i'm surprised by the speed with which things are moving with the government as well we used to think you know getting government contracts and deployment will take multiple years and see here we are working with six to seven of them in five weeks so that's an example i'm going to very quickly cover another example from another covid india task force partner um and dear dear supporter mentor advisor everything so this is dr s natarajan who is the president of omag the organized medical academic guild and uh, you know he kind of uh, wrote a testimonial for our ppe team now while you are going to be seeing a bunch of different ppe platforms i think our own ppe platform we haven't really produced a video for yet um it's at ppe.covidindiataskforce.org it's very end to end it's a bunch of volunteers who do it without any money the overall team is 35 people because it includes pp supply demand verification matching coordination and then ppe logistics supported by a national task force partner all cargo massive shout out to you all cargo acquired gati so they're national and international and then finally ppe technology which is already a team of 10 plus people and ppe fundraising which itself is a team of 10 plus people to give you a sense the ppe fundraising team has raised uh, you know a couple Uh, tens of lakhs and their next target is 1 crore over the next two weeks now uh, you know uh, dr natrajan um is also in the owners of aditya jyot so we had aditya jyot we had sayan and um, just very very grateful to do whatever little part we can we're aware that all of these are drops in the ocean but um, i think every drop in the ocean together um, will hopefully still uh, help in some way and if anything else uh it can help with moral support that we're all in this together so with that said i'll stop sharing my screen and i'd love for um you know our technology team to be able to go towards our very first track 
And our very first track for today is a bunch of medical inventors and medical devices. You're going to be so impressed um, at the quality of some of these. So over to you without further ado. Take it away, Puneet. Hi, my name is Ashima and I'm here to introduce the PP Requirements Fulfillment Team, which is a part of the COVID India Task Force. We are working towards facilitating demands of government organizations uh, by bridging the gap between demand and supply through use of technology and reach. Our portal uh, serves as a very transparent mechanism to display demands and suppliers. We generate our demand through various channels and make sure to validate the buyers as well as the suppliers. And we currently have a network of more than 136 suppliers at this point and we are constantly scaling to increase both our number of suppliers as well as the products we're able to serve. In order to facilitate demands end to end, uh, we are also helping with fundraising as well as logistics as we have partnered with organizations to ensure minimal lead time. In terms of achievements till now, there are some of, these are some of our achievements and we are trying to help more and more people on a daily basis. About 1 million people are dying every year due to infections caused by AMR organisms. AMR is now a global challenge. If left unchecked, an estimated 10 million deaths are likely to occur by the year 2050. More people are falling sick due to infection, resulting in unproductive workforce, unprecedented health complication. Thus, it is the need of the hour to deploy technologies which could efficiently prevent the transmission of these superbugs. Presenting Zbox technology, a superior decontamination technology that uses specialized electronics, proprietary kill surfaces, and smart airflow geometry to trap and kill microbes from various environmental settings. Zbox technology powered devices pulls in disease causing microbes from environment and kill them, leaving behind a near sterile zone. Devices when deployed in hospitals does primarily two things. It protects healthcare professionals from getting exposed to harmful pathogens released by patients admitted with contagious infections like COVID-19. It also protects immunocompromised patients from pathogens which could otherwise result in fatal infection. Zbox powered devices does this by creating a virtual sterile bubble across patients. Zbox powered devices are very broad spectrum in its functionality, eliminating viruses, bacteria, fungi of all types. Highly efficient device could reduce billions of microbes in less than 10 minutes. Deployed devices require minimal infrastructure and practically no maintenance and safe to be operated alongside human with very low operational cost. Zbox technology is hugely funded by the government of India from its inception and have been deployed in multiple sectors over the last one year. If you have any query related to the technology or related to the business, feel free to reach out to us. I am Chandrasekhar from Watson Envirotech Private Limited, the company which makes affordable electricity free, maintenance free water purifiers. This will be very ideal where uh, relief camps are uh, held for migrant workers, ideal for truck drivers standard across various checkpoints in places where supply of bubble top water is scarce and for rural villages tier to tier 3 cities where the last mile connectivity is not happening and portable water is a real problem. Arsenic and fluoride remediation is still a big problem which can kill much worse than corona so government agencies can try using our uh, natural water purifiers to be deployed to the last mile. We have various variants, the standalone filter, then the larger ones for primary health centers, government offices and other places which runs without electricity. We have arsenic and fluoride removal as well. We have already done close to 3 lakh households pan India to various uh, child care centers, anganwadis, schools and uh, larger NGOs like World Vision India, hand in hand and for a lot of flood relief and rehabilitation works. Then we are going to the BSF of Cargill and Vaga border. We have done quite a number of exports as well. The water filter is much comparably uh, economical than any other uh, big brands and there is no literally any maintenance cost or electricity to run this. We have uh, won uh, the accreditation from the Department of Science and Technology, CIPET for food grade plastics, IAMT for the terrafil nanofilter technology, IIT Madras for arsenic removal 
and we are fellow of Royal Academy of Engineering. We have host of uh, companies as our clients like World Vision India, ONGC, Ramco, Bosch, DCB Bank, Nama Mitra, Larsen and Tibro. I am part of the AIM Mentor of Change in Natal Tinkering Labs. We have won a lot of awards including the Millennium Alliance Grant from FIKI, the Best Waterpreneur Award from FIKI again, uh, Best uh, CAI Startup and uh, CK Prasad Award for Rural Innovation, two national awards from Ministry of Petrochemicals in 2012 and 2015. We have now come out with a dispenser which can be tweaked for uh, dispensing soap solution or sanitizer. Uh, we can pay through QR code and the uh, liquid level of uh, dispensing and the money can be monitored from a remote computer. The cost is only 1,46,000 rupees per system of 200 liter capacity. Two mission orders are in progress. We need not just uh, spend money for the sake of investment, but we also need to spread joy. Let us not see any cancer cases or fluorid, uh, fluorosis or children carrying this type of uh, water for their homes, but let them live their lives. Thank you. This is Watson Envirotech, Private Limited. Hi guys, I'm Payal from Blackrock Technologies. We are a DPIIT recognized startup. Our product is Envolio. It's a portable and rugged medical grade, grade refrigerator, which has a preset temperature and can last up to 8 to 12 hours on the field. It can be easily sterilized for COVID sample transportation. So currently we are looking at uh, mobile kiosk based collection, specimen transport, antibodies and immunization. Since India has already begun serological testing, so we believe we have a use case there as well. The if the tests are done in a wrong way, then there is a chance that the false negatives increase and there's a multiplier effect of further infections. So our product helps in mitigating this. We have already donated one unit to the Udby District Hospital and they, they, they can store up to 30 samples, COVID-19 samples at one time. And, they, and the district has requested for additional 15 units so that the entire district is covered. One unit is underway to Selco Foundation where they are using this in the mobile kiosks collection samples uh, in Tamil Nadu. There's also another requirement in Ashwini Hospital in Tamil Nadu where it's a totally solar operated facility and our device can also be used as a standalone fridge inside the hospital. We would like to partner with health departments of the different state governments, laboratories and various medical distributors. Our unit cost currently is 2 lakhs but when we start mass manufacturing, we believe we can bring down the price of the product between 35 to 40,000. Uh, we have represented India in three international events and we have won six national awards. We are a Bayrak Venture Center funded uh, tech startup and incubated with Manipal University. We are under the KSAP program and uh, thank you for your time. Hello everyone, this is Nikki Tripura from Team Sheena. We provide sanitization disinfection booth for installation at entry exit points in a building. Currently, we have deployed a solution at mass manufacturing industries, Swastik Textile, Satada Temple, Billiard Temple, and Jayambe Hospital in Janakar. In total, we have deployed seven units so far and two more are in pipeline for Gujarat state. This is a product demo. A person is supposed to enter into the chamber Automatically, nozzles will start spraying disinfectant on a person. It takes less than a minute for the entire process to get completed. So, and currently, so at least two to three hundred people can be disinfected in a day. Currently, we have a manufacturing capabilities of three units per day, but we can easily pump up to twelve to fifteen units per day. And with government assistance, we can uh, even increase our manufacturing capability beyond that. You can see a basic product specifications on my screen right now. Uh, the price point of this product is 60,000 plus GST plus transportation charges. The package includes sanitization booth, water tank and control panel. We do not provide disinfectant liquid as of now as it is not approved by the government. Application area can be all the public places as you can see on my screen right now. This is our team, myself, Nikki Thakrar and Chainam Shah. You can contact us at below details. Thank you for having us. Have a nice day. Hello, my name is Rahul Patri, founder for Doctrinal.
Hello, my name is Rahul Patri, founder for Doctrinal. We are a platform that provides point of care and non invasive screening solutions for COVID 19 and tuberculosis. A quick snapshot of our schematics uh, we use a third party microphone array connected to the mobile phone that hosts our app and provide results in real time. Our parent product, Timbo, has been repurposed to screen for NCOVID 19, which is deployment agnostic, wherein a subject can download it from Google Play Store or App Store. And a parent product has also been subjected to a third party clinical trial. And pricing for NCOVID 19 screening is at 100 rupees per screen. That excludes consumables and cleansing agents. Quick snapshot of the app screens that input demographic and clinical variables. At the bottom right, you could see the AI based results for the cough signature and also a symptom score based on a rule based algorithm. ROC curve for NCOVID screening reveals 77% sensitivity and 86% specificity and a clear demarcation of pathological and healthy cough samples. Our clinical trial results reveal 80% sensitivity and 92% specificity. And our strategic partners in, include ICMR for data harvesting and regulatory advice, MOU with State of Telangana, Big Pharma evaluating a product for TB screening, onboarding of several telemedicine companies across the globe, discussions with American Diabetes Association and India Health Fund uh, subject to our clinical trial results. Our team is a mixture of biologists, bioinformatics scientists, biomedical engineers, marketing professionals, and PhD scientists. And we have a veteran team of advisors. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Hopefully that was interesting. Now what we have next is the robotics track. We have one very interesting solution. And before that, because we also had a robotics company in Demo Day 2 as a participant, a quick testimonial from him, then a quick uh, um, solution this time. Over to you. Hi everyone, my name is Asim Halerov. I'm from Fluid Robotics. Uh, we were part of NTF Demo Day 2. It was a great, a great opportunity for us. I'd like to thank Rithi and the team uh, for making some great connects for us. And we've now partnered with a doctor in Mumbai who specializes in infectious diseases. Uh, and we've convinced BMC to pilot a solution there over the next uh, few weeks. Uh, it was a great opportunity for us and we hope we can contribute more to this platform by helping other companies uh, with our experiences. Thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it. The Oris robot can be ret retrofitted in under two weeks for contactless spraying of disinfectant and contactless delivery of food and medicines in quarantine hotspots. It's ideal for places like Mumbai. These tasks are currently being done by police and firefighters, which is exposing them. Similar solutions are being used world over. We are a Mumbai-based startup and we've developed prototypes for Oris and Indus robots for open area logistics and agriculture. The core Oris platform is ready. It moves at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour, has a payload of over 150 kgs and a runtime of four hours. It has the ability to autonomously navigate around tight spaces. You can also get a glimpse of its onboard navigation software. Required changes to enable Oris to fight COVID can be made in under two weeks and the robot will cost rupees 6.5 lakhs. It is designed for large scale manufacturing from the get go. Oris is operated via tablet or remote control. It needs a simple 15 minute orientation to operate it. We need orders from the government to enable us to scale up the manufacturing. The entire robot, including the software, is designed and built by us. Our effort is an example of designed and made in India. We are a young team of engineers working across various robotic disciplines based in Mumbai. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Okay, so the next track actually is very interesting. It's two different solutions um, with respect to being able to allow us to practice social distancing, to be able to quarantine ourselves in a very safe and effective and low cost way, and to be able to kind of, you know, um, have these uh, get deployed in, in very, very uh, fast ways. So policemen and all of our workers, you know, who are kind of out there on the front lines, these ones are for you. Both of them are temperature controlled. And so, you know, when we see just a tenting solution, 
uh, these are not temperature controlled. So a tent sort of feels these days like, you know, fire on the outside and oven on the inside because summer is approaching. So these solutions should kind of alleviate those concerns. Folks should find them very useful, specifically the government folks and their police uh, folks as well. And uh, before I quickly start those, you know, because we are all sitting in our homes, uh, there was so many jokes being floated around on human behavior, right? So we all love sitting at home. We all love vacations. The introverts among us uh, kind of, uh, these, this is a dream come true for them, right? They don't need to flake with anybody. They don't need to talk to anybody. And introverts can kind of be introverts. They can experience the world suited to them. And then, you know, even on the parents or sort of for the rest of us, What's interesting is in general, we're asked to keep off our screens and go outside. And then we're like, no, we don't want to go. We kind of want our screens. And now that we get all the screen time in the world, uh, all of us can't wait to go outside. So um, life is interesting. Life is funny. And with that said, some very amazing solutions from some inventors. Go for it. Hello, everyone. Myself, Mohit Gupta from Bharat Varmesh Private Limited. We have designed our solution for our frontline police and paramilitary forces, deputed on various barricadings done for imposing lockdown. Now I directly come to the problem statement. In most of the locations, there is no provision of shadow to save these guys from direct sunlight. Uh, in a hot sunny weather, it's hard to stay even for 15 minutes in direct sunlight. But in some places, some tents are provided to these police guys. Uh, I will show you some pics. But these uh, tents are unattended. No one is using these tents. In some places, these guys are parking their vehicles inside these tents. Because in a hot sunny day, it's like fire outside and oven inside these tents. So these tents are of no use. Now I will tell you something about our solution, which comes with a bulletproof structure. And it's a self-reliant solution with 24 hours power backup without any uh, uh, external power source. Uh, this solution comes with solar, solar lights, solar panels, uh, the fans, mobile and wireless charging station, and the most interestingly, a natural cooling mechanism, which help you with the help of drip irrigation system, which gives you the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius inside these shelters. Again, this is a, this solution is lightweight, a portable, collapsible, relocatable, and it's very rapidly deployable. You can even deploy in eight to 10 hours only. It's a plug and play solution also. This solution comes with a metal box. This metal box comprises all the electronics and electrical parts along with the batteries. You have to just plug in your devices and this system will start functioning. Now I come to the cost estimation. The cost is around 1 lakh rupees to 1.75 lakh rupees depending upon your requirement. Warranty clauses are also given there. This solution is also available on GEM. We have already done such kind of projects for uh, Indian Army and paramilitary forces. I will show you some real installation picks. These are the some real picks. So this is all we have. Thank you. Thank you so much. Namaste everyone. I represent Chad Foundation and we are the recipients of the world's highest award for socially responsible design, the Buckminster Fuller Challenge. What we are providing here is quarantine cells that are feasible, replicable, and adaptive in any given context. We are currently live in Anand, Gujarat, and we are deploying the first batch in the next two days. The quarantine cells are ideal for places already identified by the government as makeshift hospitals, places like schools, malls, and community halls that are already ready with beds. An average classroom can accommodate about 10 units, while parking lots and malls can fit in over 100 units. These collages represent our idea of reuse of the quarantine cell after the pandemic is over. They could be deployed as temporary police out outposts or they could be donated to house the food park dwellers. So this is how we plan to utilize every penny that comes from our donors' pockets. Moving on to our live unit, this is for this deployable bamboo isolation cell. We have partnered with Rotary Club and they are sponsoring the first 100 QCs that we are don donating to the Kambat town in the Gulf of Kembe, which is a hotspot in Gujarat. So all the government officials looking for a solution for partition. We provide feasible solution that costs 1500 rupees per unit and has been raised as a requirement by the local government in Gujarat. It is a seven feet. It is seven feet in all three axes and has enough space to house a bed, a portable fan and a bedside rack for storing medical items. The roof of the cell is convertible and can be kept open while deployed indoors. On your left is the layout and on your right is the photographs from our first prototype. This 
demonstrates how easy it is to deploy, how lightweight is our system, and how it requires only a couple of people to set it up. This is option two, the PVC frame, which is still in prototyping phase. Option three is also from scaffolding pipes, which is also in prototyping phase. The quarantine cells are available in three material variants, bamboo, PVC, and steel, out of which bamboo variant is live, and we are partnered with a manufacturer in Anand to produce 2,000 pieces by the end of May. Some testimonials from researchers and academicians. To end it, I would like to say, help us so that we can help others. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Hopefully that was interesting for you. What we have next is for our medical community. We have three amazing PPE platforms, very large Pan India PPE platform solutions. Um, and then, of course, uh, with, with those PPE efforts, before that, what we wanted to have all of you see is a message from Dr. Swapnil Parikh who is a COVID India Task Force advisor, partner from the very beginning. He also wrote the world's first book, co-wrote the world's first book on coronavirus. So a quick message from him. And what I'll also say is uh, we're all going to be kickstarting a campaign on all of our social media platforms. It's going to be called hashtag save our saviors. A lot of folks are coming together all of Action Fund, every VC in India, a lot of different folks are coming together for the hashtag Save Our Saviors campaign. Through that, we will all be, you know, raising and supporting, raising money locally in our communities, supporting our doctors locally in our communities. So if you're sitting in Agra or Ludhiana or Rohtak or Bangalore or Mysore or Mumbai, or Pune or Nagpur, in your local communities, you will be um, asked by us to support your doctors locally. And so with that campaign, you can see details in our social media. I'll, uh, you know, please uh, see the address uh, by Dr. Sapnil Parekh next. Go for it, Pune. Sadly, he died. With his last few breaths, he asked that his lungs be donated towards scientific research into SARS. In 1999, Dr. Avani was part of the Doctors Without Borders team that won the Nobel Peace Prize. And Dr. Avani used the money, the award money, uh, to create a fund to improve access uh, to essential medicines for the world's poorest populations. Dr. Avani was a public health hero. And the coronavirus book is dedicated to him, Dr. Li Wen Liang, and others who, like them, risk their lives in the service of humanity. The reality is that diseases like SARS, MERS, COVID-19 hit medical families the hardest. We are at highest risk of this infection and our families, because of our work, are also at risk. Nevertheless, every life we touch, every life we save, more than makes all the risk and every hardship worth it. And I think I speak for medical workers across the world when I say it is our great privilege and our honor to be able to serve humanity in its moment of crisis. Welcome everyone. This is Piyush from Moglex and today I'm going to talk about our efforts in fighting PPE COVID-19. If you look at the need of the hour, you know, while solving the PPE's demand and supply problem in the country, you know, there are multiple challenges that we are trying to address. Now, starting from quick access to PPE items, transparency in the pricing, single place to fulfill all needs, bulk availability of PPE items. Uh, marking Moglex efforts to fight PPE-19, we started very early in January and we have actually started supplying to some many global uh, customers, you know, so we have supplied to more than 20 countries. We have launched a ppcovid19.com independent global portal for demand supply management. We have a pan-India logistics coverage and largest PPE procurement and quality control team under one group. The feature of ppcovid19.com website has, you know, uh, something for everyone, for buyers, they can view the items, pricing, catalog, sellers can view the item and respond to requests, donors can actually don view the items and donate money as per that, government of our agencies can actually approve or reject the request of PPE items. If you look at the supply chain efforts of Moglix, you know, there are multiple areas. We have several warehouses working for uh, several hours during the day, while also maintaining the social distancing norms set by the government. 
in fact created so far we have donated multiple ppes to the government we have supplied ppes to government bodies essential companies like pharma companies etc so that their factories keep on running and these are some testimonials from the customer thank you so much to brief you about medica bazaar let me start with its tagline procure and cure it's self explanatory that you need to cure after procuring the medical supplies we are india's largest b2b online aggregator of medical supplies and we provide both pharma and non pharma items our target segment includes corporate hospitals medical centers doctors clinics also ngos and other corporates who would require medical supplies from time to time and we fulfill all of this through our own logistic channels and warehousing capability across the country we have a very strong digital front end customer support and our own service team with more than 30000 hospitals as our repeat customer span india which includes just look apollos fortises and many other hospitals it's no wonder that medica bazaar has ended up winning a lot of accolades and awards and press mentions Hi, my name is Amrit. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Zetwork. We are India's largest contract manufacturing platform. We work with large companies to solve various supply chain problems like discovering the right supplier, project management, all the way till execution. Over the last four weeks, we've put the company's bandwidth towards solving COVID-related challenges in our country across three different streams. Number one, there's a huge shortage of PPE in our country, uh, primarily for coveralls, shoe kits, etc. Uh, the solution we have identified is working with existing apparel manufacturers which are basically clothes and garment uh, suppliers to repurpose their factories to build ppe we are solving for technical know how certification and uh, other things achieved great success in a very short span of time we have added 300000 ppe kits per week capacity to the nation uh, across 15 different suppliers spread across different states up andhra pradesh tamil nadu karnataka so really pan india Uh, execution capability so if you do need ppe please reach out to us second is as we all know there is a huge shortage of n95 masks in our country um and uh, we have a very ambitious plan we want to build india's first n95 factory completely from scratch in a very aggressive timeline of 100 days and we are targeting a price point of 40 to 50 rupees per mask which is very different from the current market prices of 200 rupees per mask so make it very affordable and at huge scale to solve almost close to entire india's uh, short term requirements of n95 masks so if you want to partner with us please reach out to us number 3 in the interim while we do build this factory we have a partnership with byd which is the largest uh, fda approved n95 manufacturer based out of china to import these masks as a preferential vendor instead of these masks going to us and europe uh, these masks will come to india Uh, with a very short lead time of 15 days and 3 million masks uh, of uh, capacity hi everyone so what i was thinking is as remembering the slogan which was very popular when i was a child jai jawan jai kisan that was for all of our armed forces for all of our farmers that's the slogan that was so popular in india to be able to showcase how much both these target groups are very important in their service to the nation and today i would say every single frontline healthcare worker every single person in the armed forces in the police forces out there on the streets every volunteer serving food every single one of you um while i don't have a slogan uh for all of you now you're the ones who are really kind of taking on the lion's share of the burden and uh, if we could do something with hashtag #seva saviors that would be a drop in the bucket to be able to support you just the way you support us in fact we also realized every single one of us somewhere in our immediate families or in our extended families has doctors in the family and all of us right now are very proud of them um you know i see a lot of us sharing on our whatsapp groups that we're proud of the doctors in our families um there was one there's one in my family as well who currently today sent a picture to us you know she was completely suited in the coveralls in the overalls in the entire ppe kit um from top to bottom with goggles and and masks and everything and she was out there on the front lines and with that we're going to do a campaign where all of you get a chance to have a hashtag and actually share 
the stories of all of the doctors in your families on the front lines everybody on the front line from your families so let's do a campaign around them and uh, what a great way to come together and to be able to honor those who are actually working the hardest these days in some sense on that note actually we're going to move on to the next uh, track which is a bunch of inventors a lot of manufacturers came together this time and had interesting solutions because you know as we continue to think about how do we go back to work when does this lockdown end what next we still need to be contactless contactless is the keyword a lot of our existing lives are not contactless and as we completely change the course of our lives and the future of work and the future of living um please uh, see from some of our videos which you're going to see next over to you good evening i represent anjani and our protection solutions for prevention and mitigation of covid-19 we are an iso certified defense manufacturing company and are established suppliers to indian railways mha mod and other government institutions we are manufacturing partners of drdo and have supplied various solutions such as ballistic armoring missile packaging and other industrial solutions the first product is the face shield which can be used in clinical industrial security and community settings as you can see anyone who has direct interface with another person is recommended to use this product like healthcare workers police forces retailers and general public it protects the mucous membranes of eyes nose and face from splashes and droplets it is durable lightweight comfortable and reusable after disinfection our product has an additional safety peel off film on both sides to ensure that the wearer of the product is using a product that has never been touched before it is completely disinfected it covers 180 degrees of the face and fits snugly against the forehead and there are different models available for the same it is made of optically transfer transparent lexin polycarbonate material we have a large manufacturing capacity of 5000 units per day which can be doubled and are awaiting from the permissions from the dm we have supplied to different district police forces the other product is the walk in sample collection kiosk which allows either the patient or the doctor to be in a portable sterilized environment it has a transparent window and nitrile gloves to ensure that the person or the physician can inspect the patient without any infection uh, problems this is currently under development and we are waiting for drdo to process our test and validations for any information please contact us Medsmart is a very innovative product being launched by Medica Bazaar. It is appropriate for the corona situation where social distancing now is a norm. So Medsmart is a touchless attendance system with a help twist where our employee walks in, puts his hand below the Medsmart system, automatically the hand sanitizer is dispensed. This creates a mandatory hand hygiene compliance before they enter the workplace. Not only that, the temperature of that person is recorded. and whether that person was wearing the mask or not is also getting recorded and the attendance is all recorded through a touchless face id this is a great tool to maintain social distance and a healthy workplace in the current corona scenario or even otherwise medsmart creates a great healthy workplace by creating hand sanitization compliance encourages wearing of masks detects temperature which can help the hr reach out to sick employees Critilight is a great remote monitoring device in the covid context. It's a social distancing tool for nurses to minimize contact with patients. It lessens load on healthcare workers and it's a very easy to use device which any healthcare staff can use. In the corona situation, the contact with the patient is to be reduced as much as possible so that the exposure to the healthcare worker is reduced. This device is a simple device it connects to the patient with ecg lead pulse oximeter or any other healthcare parameter which the nurses or the doctors would like to monitor all of that is recorded and transmitted wirelessly through the cloud systems and the doctor can watch it anywhere or the nurses can watch it anywhere on a tablet or any old or new device good evening everyone uh, my name is abhinav anand from srg techno private limited gurgaon 
and we are uh, presenting a couple of solutions uh, to detect the body temperature of the individuals. So starting with the palm temperature detector that helps in detecting the person's body temperature using the palm of the individual. So while walking in the offices or the malls or the schools, the individual just need to scan his hand over the device. And these two sensors are designed to detect the body temperature. And immediately uh, the system would give out a readout on uh, a screen here. So as you can see, uh, the person scans the hand and the readout is given on the screen. And accordingly, the security official can stop or prevent the entry of the individual uh, in the, inside the building. Secondly, uh, it can be clubbed with different uh, monitors or uh, even turnstiles for that matter, so that while entering, the person can uh, stop, uh, uh, you know, in case he's got a high fever. Secondly, there's a thermal smart glasses uh, that will let the individual uh, visualize uh, and see uh, who is uh, the individual the, who's the person who's got high body temperature. As we can see in this image, it helps us uh, see the temperature of the different people standing in the, getting out of this metro station. So uh, similarly, uh, this equipment is designed in India and something very nice and portable for the coming days where we would like to uh, monitor many people at the same time. Thirdly, uh, there is an access control system that will help the individual uh, scan his body temperature while he's seeking entry inside the office. And the next solution is also on the same lines, uh, which is again doing the face recognition and uh, the body temperature scanning at the same time. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good day. On that note, actually, let's take a break. That was interesting. And now even the next track is three more. So actually, final stretch, home stretch, only 11 more to go, only four more tracks. And we can do this. So the next one is a bunch of more interesting devices. Some are live, some are not live. A lot of them are wearables. And I keep thinking of a very like back to the future, sci-fi, scientific moments where all of us could like chip each other. And, um, you know, there was a joke I was hearing. Every disaster movie starts with the government ignoring a scientist. So while well, we're all trying our best, um, let's look at some more inventors. Over to you. Hello, everyone. I'm here to present a wearable healthcare device for personal safety of doctors, healthcare workers, quarantine people, and even old age people. Uh, for the COVID requirement. Our aim was to monitor uh, these people, have a contactless uh, information and also get uh, a detailed analytics and AI on all the information collected by this device. One of the requirement we came across through Karnataka War Room was the need for the Bluetooth device where they were able to track the people's movement and geofencing, but we thought with this device, we can also provide the uh, temperature uh, of the body temperature of the uh, of the patient or the people also provide some more information like their coughing patterns, their movement, their geofence, their facial recognition, in, in, including in, integrated with our app. And this is what we have come up with this device. And uh, this are capable of integrating with Arogya Setu also work standalone and we can provide the total information using analytics and also real-time monitoring of these people who are remotely either in the hospital or at home to the healthcare professionals which will help them remotely monitor geofence and monitor their behavior. Uh, we are capable of doing this solution with our partner who had deployed this solution for ECG uh, in Karnataka for more than 10,000 devices and we believe that we can produce this at a very low cost within three to four weeks, uh, cost under 3K so that it is affordable and reusable with sanitizing at the right moment and provide the integrated data to the people for making the better decisions. Thank you. Hello everyone. Uh, our solution is a business continuity platform for supply chains during COVID era. The solution is based on IoT driven tracking of frontline COVID warriors and supply chain workforce while they are within a premise or on the go. Our team has combined experience of 50 plus years with education from Stanford, GSB, BITS and Great Lakes. We have been delivering these continuity solutions for last two years for our uh, customers in defense, retail and logistics. For last three months, we have been live with a logistic company 
where we have been tracking and monitoring the movement and body temperatures of their workforce within the company's warehouses and CFSs via our IoT enabled ID cards and for workforce on the move for various deliveries and pickups via our IoT wristbands and contact trace mobile app. To maintain data security and immutability, we store all the data on a public ledger driven by blockchain through which we are able to give multiple uh, dashboards and reports for improvement in workforce productivity, for performing fraud uh, contact tracing and for providing risk mitigations and strategies. This data is also uh, used to connect to medical practitioners for people who are marked as uh, infected via our DocConnect mobile app. For this deployment, we need a timeline of two to four weeks from the go-ahead, cost of solution being 1000 rupees per person and uh, we are able to handle 50,000 traces uh, at, at scale right now. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Pratik from Embryo Technologies Pune. Here I am presenting Mobile Patient Isolator. This is a wearable device for the patient to be used during his or her transport in the ambulance which will reduce the spread of contamination during the transport. The need came from one of the article I was reading that ambulances need to be sanitized after every patient transport and hence with this device we solve three problems reduction in contamination, reduce time for cleaning and sanitizing chemical. Currently, the prototype and complete industrial level design is ready but not tested on the patient yet. One of the hospital has shown high interest that is Dinanath Mangeshkal Hospital in Pune. We are looking for plastic welding manufacturers. Cost per device is between 2000 to 2500. We need around 12 lakhs of funding for the development of 400 units. Once we have the approvals, we can deliver 50 units in the first week. With the current manufacturing capability in our lab, we, have, we can develop 8 to 10 units in a week but in, are in talks with few partners to extend the, this capacity to 300 to 400 units per week. For the deployment, we will start with ambulance operator who will need 3 to 4 units per ambulance. Also, it can be used in testing facility for chest x-ray examination as this is a chest x-ray transparent material. This is a solution on the left. It's a final render product and the device consists of multiple filter locations and one front opening for oral feeding. On the right, it's a first prototype which was built yesterday. Key features of the device are, it is lightweight, wearable, sterilizable, x-ray transparent device using which patient can also sit and can also use their hands for coughing and sneezing. Also it has a removal filters and the device is easy to pack and unpack. Me and Nishanta are the founders of the company for having more than 10 years of experience in medical devices industry. Thank you. Let us together stop the spread of the contamination. Hi everyone. So hope that was interesting. I'm sure it was a bit much too. What we have next is about behavior change, human behavior, content, education, training, and ultimately training isn't really interesting without providing the necessary behavior change. What are we intending to have happen, right? Content without behavior change means nothing because it's not that people don't wash their hands because they don't know that they should wash their hands. People are not able to follow certain things when they have physical constraints or mental blocks or actual beliefs which suggest otherwise for them. And so we have a couple, two interesting training platforms. Um, training today is the need of the hour so that all of us can um, overnight almost adjust to a different way of living and at a very mass, very large scale, that's very hard. In fact, I'd like to share something a very close friend of mine helps me with every day. Every single day, there are so many volunteers. There are so many things that are happening. And every single day, we make mistakes. We make a lot of mistakes. There is so much stress. There is a time crunch. Every single day, there are things going wrong. Every single day, there are family members being hospitalized for various reasons. Every single day, our team members, family members are being hospitalized Every single day, we find friends uh, who were stuck in various parts of India or the world within uh, various hot zones where, you know, the situation is very dire. And every single day, you know, it seems like the world is collapsing. A very close friend of mine likes to ask me, what's the one good thing that happened today? And uh, I think we might even do a campaign around that, right? What's the one good thing that happened to us that day? What's the one good thing that we were able to do 
positively that day, productively that day? What's the one good thing that you observe that day? What's the one good thing that the universe brought into our lives that day? If all of us could focus on the one good thing, it will continue to give us the energy, the motivation to take all of this, to take the extreme stress, to deal with it. I think a lot of us are learning about ourselves these days and how we react to various situations when we haven't seen each other, we don't know each other. And so many people are coming together to work together and try and support each other um, in a very, very accelerated fashion. So with that said, please remember and remind yourselves of the one good thing that happened to all of you today, the one good thing that all of you made happen today. Without you, that one good thing would not have happened. With that said, let's move on to the next two solutions. Over to you. Hi, I'm Dr. Shahid and I'm the co-founder and president of Nora Health. We have been working in the public health system of India for the last five years, where Nora's Care Companion Program empowers healthcare providers patients and their family caregivers with the high impact health skills they need. This program has been adopted by six state governments across 159 government hospitals and rigorous research on the program has shown improvement in behavior change and health outcomes, such as a 71% decrease in post-surgical complications. Our solution for the COVID-19 pandemic builds on our past work to drive positive behavior change for at-risk communities. Our holistic health behavior change offering can be developed and customized for a specific partner and incorporates three key verticals, content creation, training, and follow-up. To date, through our 15 plus partners, we have trained nearly 200 clinicians with key COVID-19 skills and reached a total of 16 million plus community members. We have created 15 high impact topics in eight regional languages across audio, video, and infographics. And we are continually creating more content. We have trained and mentored frontline healthcare professionals, as well as NGO frontline staff on COVID-19 using webinars and app-based training. We have a WhatsApp bot in development to provide this important clinical information at scale. We have a WhatsApp bot that's already created that is community facing and we have a dedicated team of 60 outbound telecallers in four languages that are trained to provide support. We have the design, clinical and public health expertise to create programs and what we're looking for are implementing partners, whether large scale NGOs or governments that want to drive better behavior change for their populations. We're also looking for funders to help support us to provide this effort free of cost to those who need it most. Thank you so much for this opportunity, and we look forward to assisting with the COVID-19 response. Hello, everyone. I'm Shobhit Nathur from Dhwani Rural Information Systems. We are an IT services firm building IT solutions for social sector organizations and government programs. Today, I'm presenting about our MFORM app for training and capacity building of COVID-19 frontline workers. This app is already ready to go live for training of around 1,000 cluster cluster workers in UP with Transform Rural India Foundation and for around 20,000 students of Tech Mahindra Foundation's remote skill development programs. The flow of the apps involves the trainers who can upload the content from backend panel. The content can be audio, visual or text files. Once the content has been uploaded, it can be accessed by the field workers on the mobile app. The trainers can also schedule the sessions and tests for the field workers. The field workers, once they log, in, log into the app, can see the session plans along with the links to join each session and they can also take the test after completing each session. On the right side, you can see the screenshot of the app where as a field worker, when I log into the app, I will see the folder structure of the content and I can choose whichever course I want to go to. On the right side of the screen, you will see the video and PDF files which can be seen by a field worker when scrolling through the content. The whole app works in an offline mode, so the content can be accessed by the remote field workers also, and it is also in a multilingual format. The unit cost for this involved rupees 50,000 per month for 500 users. Through this presentation, we aim to reach out to Ministry of Skill Development, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, and Ministry of Agriculture, and their affiliated CSR and NGO partners, so that we can provide this app for efficient training of their field workers. This is our team. Thank you so much. Hi, 
So hopefully that was interesting. Now what we have next is a bunch of bots and AI bots, manual bots. Bots, of course, you know, make um, are only uh, helpful when we have applications. You're going to see some very interesting applications for them. You're going to see essential services as well. There's a bunch of very smart people for the next four solutions. Before we go on, however, I do want to quickly comment on how many quarantine stories we're seeing these days. Um, and again, you know, I think uh, we should totally have a hashtag, my quarantine stories. There are so many stories. And I think if all of us take this as an opportunity to laugh, take a step back and just see how much life has changed and how resilient all of us are. Human beings in general are resilient. And that's what's on display today. And, um, you know, so for all of us, uh, let's buckle up. We're in for an interesting ride. It's not over yet. Um, there's a bunch more months where this is supposed to go. Our lives have changed. So let's see some bots so that we can see how we can continue to use more solutions which can help all of us out in our daily lives. Over to you. Hello, everyone. My name is Akshay Shivastan. I'm the co-founder and director of Campus Art Solutions, which is a DIPPT recognized startup and incubated at SIICID Kanpur. The name of our solution is Corona 360 Solutions. The motivation comes from the fact that administration lacks genuine and structured data about the individuals showing symptoms. The objective is to develop a real-time uh, monitoring solution for COVID-19 using contact traces and dynamic health monitoring. The solution would be to identify potentially infected people, real-time health monitoring and hyper-local information delivery to the residents. This is the algorithm that we are using for contract tracing. Uh, the contagion graph shows how are we, are, we are developing our, uh, our algorithm. The health monitoring will be to provide a mobile-based solution for risk assessment of an individual or area, which will generate a score from 0 to 100 uh, uh, by the daily voting conducted on mobile or SMS. These are the, this is the flow chart of telling you how we are doing uh, our health monitoring. This is the public app for uh, the health monitoring. Desktop app, admin app that we are developing separ separately. The hyperlocal information delivery that we were doing pre-COVID scenario was to provide uh, essential information of shop, restaurants, and service providers, and give the de home delivery. There's a hyperlocal information public app, and this is a vendor app that we have developed separately. <clears throat> Our model is to uh, identify and monitor the uh, suspected individual along with providing essential services. The impact would be. Uh, very much in the current scenario. There's a comparative analysis of different applications currently live. The requirement would be to get the telecom operator data uh, and the structured data of the individual which tested positive and negative along with the support from local and city administration for free movement of operations. These are the collaborations. This is the conclusion that we have drawn and we have a team of nearly 50 people strong. Delegate at its core is a task and order communication platform. Users can discover service providers near them, while providers can list and make themselves available in a particular area to service their customers. We are currently working with the Pune Zilla Parishan in partnership with Deloitte for solving the use case of medical professionals registering themselves as volunteers with the Pune Zilla Parishan in the pandemic crisis. The doctors and nurses can enter their professional information and specify the days of the week and the times of the day when they can volunteer. The Pune Jilla Parishad admins can very easily manage and communicate with these volunteers. Consumers can place orders and receive communication that their orders are ready to be picked up and reduce the queues, thereby practicing social distancing. Delegate can be used to enroll volunteers, communicate with them as well as assign them tasks requested by the users. You can club multiple services and define the radius in which they are to be made visible to the users. You can even white label and get your branded and customized version of the delegate app. The Delegate team is a strong tech team with more than 60 plus years of combined IT experience in premium companies like Microsoft, Ola, Yahoo and Flipkart. 
we look forward to hearing from you and we are keen to work with you in this pandemic crisis to solve your use cases uh, we are from value first we have a chatbot product called servo the problem that we are facing in covid situation is people are not able to find out the relevant person in the government or representative or representative of government where they can reach out and pose their problem so we re we recognize that there is this gap which a chatbot can solve as chatbot can interact with with other people like human take the data and pass it on to the relevant agency uh, uh we did a case study with uh, we did this uh, study with with uttarakhand we launched a chatbot there with dev bhumi seva which is a congress organization and our bot within a couple of days has been able to interact with uh, thousands of people and we have a data of 20000 plus people with their phone number location and their specific problem most of them are actually facing a problem with being stranded and they want to go home congress party at uttarakhand has already shared the data with the government let's look at the the demo of how the app works it's very very simple it's scalable it takes about 3 days to get this deployed while you're seeing you see that it's actually in hindi language and uh, it's very easy for anyone to kind of communicate with very simple options so the bot ask about the name and and the number and the problem that they're facing so on and so forth giving them a message that this information will go out to the right person and they will contact them back so uh, if we see you know the it be the chatbot this link to the chatbot can actually be sent across whatsapp group can be sent across uh, messages email and sms and other websites so this way that the person in need can you know go to this uh, chatbot and and interact with it telling them what the problem they are facing Uh, the chatbot solution has been there across various industries and we are happy to help any other person in the same scenario yeah thank you hi this is aparna thakkar and today i'm going to talk about the empower ji assistant simplified home delivery of essentials for seniors the senior community in india constitutes over 200 million people and uh, about 80 million of these people are living in urban cities tier 1 tier 2 and it is this group that is most susceptible to the covid-19 infection and our solution is based uh, to help these people achieve social distancing we don't know when a covid-19 vaccine is going to come out and it's best that seniors practice social distancing during the lockdown and after the empower ji assistant is essentially a bot that uh, allows seniors to easily order medication grocery and pay their bills online i have a short demo to show you Uh, we have tested with about 50 users and the unanimous review has been it's very simple and easy our solution helps with social distancing it's a one stop shop for all essential needs it's scalable in tier 1 and tier 2 cities uh, it can be easily integrated with existing government initiatives we're requesting government officials to help the seniors in their community by promoting the app in their states helping with partnerships with essential vendors and to initiate collaboration with the arogya setu app thank you so much for your time hey everyone so hopefully that was interesting we ended actually with empower ji which uh, you know all of us every single one of you should ensure that your grandmothers and grandfathers and all of the very amazing folks in our life who make our lives worth it who feed us food and keep us very very happy um they download that app and we can now finally make all the senior citizens very tech savvy and and stop doing their tech work and stop book booking cabs for them but just kind of allow them to empower themselves so with that said over to the final segment only two solutions over here so we made it um these are some interesting inventions and before that i'm going to have dr akash rajpal the executive vice president of medica bazaar um say you know share a few of his learnings and and just his message to all of you over to you hey thanks for having me here riddhi uh, it's a 
great platform. And uh, I would just like to say that uh, I've been getting a lot of feedback on the Max Smart product and the Critical Light product. Uh, which has been well appreciated. So these are not the only products which we do. Medica Bazaar as a platform, you know, is the largest aggregator in this country. And, and we have been supplying to the NGOs and, and the hospitals, thousands of them over a period of time, especially in this COVID scenario, whatever they have been wanting, ventilators, masks, etc. We have been extremely busy. And thankfully to God, we also have jobs. Uh, and uh, we have been busy supplying these medical supplies 24-7, pan-India, right up to the Dharamshala in Himachal Pradesh, which is an interesting thing. There were some hiccups initially, uh, but thanks to various governments across the country uh, that the logistics part, etc. were sorted out and now we are able to ship to a lot of places. And uh, still there is a lot of supply related issues related to certain masks and certain PPEs from certain manufacturers because I think they're catering to the government supplies as a priority and private supplies is becoming an issue. So I would only request government to somehow help the manufacturers scale up their uh, you know manufacturing capabilities and also allow these particular items to go to the private sector also. Thank you so much. So with that message, Puneet, go for it. The last two solutions. Present on ion distancing project from Johnson Controls Hitachi. So let, let's start with a short video demo that we have recently recorded. So here in that video, you can see that whenever we are not following a distancing protocol, it, it gives us a keeping alarming thing that keep distance and keep distance. So whenever we try to post such videos in a LinkedIn community, we got such reactions from the community. Someone said that try to present PM office quickly. Even whenever the government tries to lift lockdown policies, here is the situation that may rise second or third wave of the COVID virus spread. So can AI help us to uh, make this happen? Yes. So let, let's find a solution that existing CCTVs we have everywhere like on roads on shopping malls and banks. So can, can we stream it to the government servers for cloud processing? Yes. So after that, uh, AI algorithms, which, which is doing a social distancing as well as people counting things, can be embedded on the surface and it, it will try to keep alert the property holders like a shopkeeper that in your shop, this social distancing is not followed. Even government can see the, can see the dashboards. If you try to explore some of the features like it, we should not have a new infrastructure, even we can do a mass detection. The price would be the only electricity co uh, um, cost and as well as the API cost. So also I would like to have a sincere thanks to my MD and the whole company team. And we would like to help, uh, have a help from government that can we establish such channels and can we enforce all the shopkeepers to This is a personal hygiene tool which I have designed and prototype prototyping is 3D printing. Uh, this is how you wear it. You slip your fingers into the four uh, holes present in that. Uh, it's a, it has a lot of features. It uh, it has hooks and uh, a lot of uh, curved hooks and there's a socket for uh, faucet taps. The faucet tap you can open using this tool like this. Faucet taps with so the knobs which are wet are prone to a lot of infections. So you can open and close it. Uh, you can switch on and switch off electrical uh, connections. You can carry bags which are infected, bags with infected material or bags which are themselves infected. That's uh, quite rigid. You can handle about three or four kgs using this hook. You can open doors of uh, refrigerators or cupboards with horizontal handles and vertical handles also. The uh, size of this hygiene, size and weight of the hygiene tool are given here. It weighs only 140 grams. I'll be using injection molding to uh, manufacture this. It will be man of the, made of the material ABS, which is acrylonitrile acryl, butadiene styrene. The cost of this product is 25 rupees approximately. Uh, initial investment for making a mold would be around 4 lakhs. It will take 20 days to uh, finish uh, manuf start manufacturing from date of investment. I can manufacture five pieces every day, or five days, 200 pieces every five days. Uh, I have a manufacturing partner, Bilva Molds in uh, Pinya, Bangalore. Uh, I have given it to a couple of doctors. One of them is Dr. Subramaniam Raman from Tiruvaru, who has given this testimonial over here, present in slide 11 of my uh, PBD. 
Thank you. Hi everyone. So we're at the end of the show, and at the very end, I do want to sing a song for you. If you noticed, I sang no songs today, and yes, my voice is deteriorating a little bit more with every day. But what say? One song will do. Now I was trying to think of what song to sing, and for the life of me, I couldn't think of something until I did. So there was a dance party actually last weekend. and in that dance it was a virtual dance party it was a friend's birthday this is the first time we have had a dance party virtually on zoom and uh, between the dance party songs as well as my own mental health coach um all of us should get a mental health coach by the way these days in particular so she always you know loves telling me all of us need to compliment each other as much as we can as shamelessly as we can as wholeheartedly as we can especially during these times where there is so much stress all of us are human beings all of us love hearing compliments and so there is one song which um a couple of friends sang uh, last weekend i am going to attempt to sing it i feel like it's a very good song which shows how much you can compliment you can compliment every single tiny thing about someone else who says there is a limit to the number of compliments you can have okay so with that said um i haven't tested my voice let's just see how it goes all right some of you may have heard this and by the way for all of us this is the time we listen to bacha and guru randava and all of the artists every day so for all you artists Thank you so much for having prepared and sung songs all these years. These days, that's very important entertainment and also mental health. Songs are great mental health um, exercises. So, with that said, I know I'm procrastinating. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Teri akhya, teri sakhya, teri gogal pa ke rakhya, tera koka, teri bali, tera hasna. तेरी गाली तेरी मम्मी तेरे पापा तेरे भैया तेरे चाचा तेरे दादा तेरी नानी तेरे जमुना नगर वाली नानी कमाल है तेरा आना तेरा जाना तेरा सुर से बाहर गाना तेरी हेलो तेरी हाय तेरी कॉफी तेरी चाय तेरी डेनम तेरी करती तेरी डांस फ्लोर पे फरती तेरी बातें तेरी झलकी तू है चूटो पूरी लड़की सो दैट सॉन्ग इज कमाल है एंड आई लव दैट सॉन्ग बिकॉज every single attribute of someone can be complimented so if all of you want to end this demo day with a challenge for all of you go compliment your entire family all of your friends every single person in your life send them the cheesiest most shameless comments possible every person you've ever had a crush on please let them know every person about you even one thing is amazing and you can find that one thing amazing for every single person please let them know our brains answer basis the questions we ask so the question is how many compliments can you give to your loved ones and to everybody today all right with that said good night thank you so much see you again very soon